Hey guys, just before we start this video, I know that it's in the title, but please, if you have any issues with flashing lights, please do not watch this video. Hey guys, this is Falcom, and in today's video, we're going to be having a look at my homemade MFG or muzzle flash generator. Now, you can get these things commercially, however, they are incredibly expensive. You know, 150 euros is the cheapest I've been able to find these things. So I was put off by the price initially and I thought you know what, I want to do one myself so I pulled together a few components I had laying around and I've made myself a homemade muzzle flash generator so let's take it over to the tech bench have a closer look at this thing and then we'll chuck it on a gun and see how it looks let's get to it the muzzle end of this device is a G36K four prong muzzle brake upon which I have taped four strips of warm white 12 volt LED tape and this is what gives us our flash now the other major component on the muzzle end is this electric microphone now this picks up the sound of the shot be it a round going down the barrel or a dry fire and it triggers the device the brain of this gadget is a two transistor circuit based on this design and it is a music reactive light circuit which allows leds to flash to the beat of some music and in this case it's using the sound of the gunshot to activate the muzzle flash generator and it runs off of a 9 volt battery clip you can use a 9 volt battery uh, for the video though and for testing I've used a 9.9 volt life battery which works quite well. The LED tape has a maximum voltage of 12 volts so there's nothing stopping you running it up even further and the 11.1 would probably be really bright however the main issue I found is you cannot run this off of the gun battery if you've got an AEG because the current draw from the AEG firing especially in full auto can cause this to cut out completely so you want to stay with a separate battery for an AEG. So as you can tell this is quite janky, it's in the prototype stage. Ideally I'd have it nice and compact and I want to make one which will go on the end of a gas blowback pistol as well which will be a very small one. However, we've got to get this one working first properly and it was a pain in the backside to get this to work. Loose connections are bound and I also had the issues with the LED tape shorting against the body of the flash suppressor which was incredibly annoying and that cost me a lot of time trying to get this thing fixed. However, it seems to be working right now, so let's have a look at this thing shooting then. So that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did at any point please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up, and if you want to know when we've got more content out then please do not hesitate to subscribe as well, just remember to enable notifications, and as always guys play fair, and play safe, take care. <laughs>